Hey guys, what's happening? So I thought I'd show you my little cable chain mount here that I made for this 3018 uh, CNC machine. It's a uh, top stepper mount cable chain, but the unique thing here is that it actually it's designed to mount an air chip blower. Um, so one of, the, one of the things I want to do with this CNC machine is actually cut aluminum and I needed a way to um, evacuate chips because the worst thing you can do is recut your chips or and send your chip back into the cutting process especially with aluminum because it becomes sticky. Um, not so much with wood but I mean really I actually I got this to cut aluminum and carbon fiber. I mean, maybe some wood, but I mean, obviously it's not the greatest one for cutting aluminum, but uh, it was still 300 bucks. But yeah, I try to do everything I possibly can to, you know, actually help out the process here. So I'll put a link so we can get all this stuff. But let me show you real fast um, how this thing works. But it's your basic cable chain, and then I guess the unique thing about this setup was the uh, mount. You know, then I have uh, two screws here to clamp it down. And I'll, I'll put it together and I'll show you a complete. But in case the top thing didn't actually go, I have a M3 screw there. This will all be on my Thingiverse page. M3 nut there. But um, let me get all the wires fed in there. They're done. Yeah, sorry for the background noise. I'm actually uh, printing out a... Well, one of the things when you're cutting aluminum, uh, I, what I can't stand is how messy these uh, printers are. You know, I don't want stuff everywhere on my desk. So I've already printed out one piece. But it's going to be a evacu. It's going to be a chip uh, catch containment system. So it's a under underneath base with a slide out drawer to catch chips. But I'm actually designing a whole chip containment system for this thing, you know, so I don't have stuff flying around everywhere. All right, there it is. Yeah, again, sorry for the background noise. Some of these prints take days. So yeah. So if you actually were wondering how you could put like an air blowing system on your 3018 printer. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that box to DLC. But let me show you this real fast. Get the little control box here. There it is. Yeah, I also wrapped it in that sleeve right there. This is my first shot. But this actually, this thing right here is a, it's actually a mister, a lubricator and an air blower. So, uh, nice upcoming videos about that. So, keep the wires nice and organized. And this will need to get worked in the chain, but. All right, cool, got some chip evacuation. Now I need to finish my containment system. That way I can uh, run this thing. I haven't, even, it's, I haven't run it yet, so still brand new. All right, cool, I'll be down below, uh, Thingiverse. So, you guys want it? Go ahead, yeah, like I said, it should work with all these different versions of the printer that have the 2020 rail up here. Alright guys, cool.